In this module, we'll be editing the chart that we created in module 3.7, creating a scatter plot 2. Enhancing the appearance of PASW's charts can help viewers visualize complex statistical data. In the Output Viewer window, click on the chart or graph that you'd like to edit. You will see a new black border surrounding the graph as well as a red arrow indicating that the chart has been selected. To start editing, double click on the graph. A new chart editor window will appear. Maximize the chart editor window by clicking on the maximize button. The first thing that we want to do is add a line to our scatter plot. In order to do so, right click anywhere on the graph. Using your mouse, select Add Fit Line at Total. By default, a linear line has been created. However, the fit method that we'd like to select is cubic. So using your mouse, select the cubic radial button. To apply the results, click on the Apply button. You will notice that the linear line does not capture the way the data curves, but the cubic method is a near-perfect fit. In order to change the way the line looks, click on the Lines tab in the Properties dialog box. Here you can change the color of the line by selecting any of the swatches available for you on the Properties dialog box. You can also change the style of the line by clicking on the drop-down arrow under Style. Go ahead and select your desired style. To apply your changes, click on the Apply button. You will immediately see the changes that you have chosen. Now to change the appearance of the dots, double click on any of the dots on your graph. You will notice that the options in the Properties dialog box has changed to reflect the characteristics of your dots. First, let's change the type by clicking on the drop-down arrow under Type. From the menu, select your desired choice. Now change the color of your dots. If you'd like to, you can also change the size of the dots as well as the border width of the dots. When finished making your changes, click on the Apply button. You will see your changes immediately. Now to change the color of the background of your graph, double-click anywhere in the background. Select your desired color in the Properties dialog box. Then select the Border option to change the color of your graph's border. Select a color. Then click on the Apply button to see your changes. Now to change some of the characteristics in the text of your graph, double-click on Weight. Using the Properties dialog box, let's change the font family. In order to do so, click on the drop-down arrow under Family. Use the scroll bar to see all of your options. Then select your desired font. Afterwards, change the color of your weight text. Then select the Apply button to apply the changes. Now to change the characteristics of the interval numbers on the y-axis, double-click on any of the numbers. Go ahead and change the color, as well as the font. You can also change the size of your interval numbers by selecting on the drop-down arrow under Preferred Size. After choosing your desired size, click on the Apply button to apply your changes. Now to change the characteristics of the ticks on the y-axis, double-click on any of the ticks. In the Properties dialog box, 
under the section Minor Ticks, check the Display Ticks checkbox. Then in the Number of Minor Ticks per Major Ticks text box, type in 5. Afterwards, click on the Apply button. To change the characteristics of the y-axis itself, double-click on the y-axis line. In the Properties dialog box, click on the Scale tab. Click on the field next to Lower Margin Percentage. Then change it to 0. Repeat the same thing with Upper Margin Percentage. When finished, click on the Apply button to see your changes. Close out of your Properties dialog box. Then using the scroll bar, scroll down to reveal the bottom of your graph. To start changing the components of your x-axis, double-click on the x-axis line. Once again, the Properties dialog box will appear so you can make the necessary changes. Go ahead and change the age variable as well as the ticks and the x-axis and the interval numbers to reflect the same changes that you made on the y-axis. Moving on, let's add a title to your graph. Click on the text box icon. Double click on where it says text box in order to change the text. Select text box and in its place, retype growth chart. If you choose to do so, you can change the characteristics of the text box growth chart to align with the rest of the text in your graph. After you finish making all of your changes, Close out of the Properties dialog box by clicking on the Close button. In order to return to the Output Viewer window, click on the red X on the upper right-hand corner of the Chart Editor window. In the Output Viewer window, the changes that you made to your chart will remain the same. 